All right, my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of our City Zoo Build Tropical Wings Zoo. So here we are, gang. We're back in TW. And today, unfortunately, it isn't a fresh build episode, but we're going to be talking about my plans going forward. Last episode, though, is linked above in case you've missed it. It was our insect house that we built. Um, there's still a few little changes that need to be made to that build, but feel free to go and check that one out after you've dealt with today's episode. So we're at the entrance, gang. Okay, we're going to start here, and I'm basically going to work my way around the zoo, and I'm going to talk to you about the things that are incoming with the series. Um, hopefully over the next month or so. Um, I put on the Discord recently that um, obviously trying to balance uh, Do It Better with this series has been pretty difficult. And it's been really difficult recently as I've A, been making some changes to the channel, trying to introduce some new content to kind of uh, get more eyes to the channel and basically keep the channel ticking over. And B, I've just been so super, super busy um, in life that it's been very difficult to sit down and find the time that I need to complete builds in Planet Zoo. And that's not just Tropical Wings, but um, Do It Better as well. Today, I was supposed to be releasing an episode of Do It Better, but um, I am nowhere near finished the next build. And so I thought that why not you use this time on the channel to kind of showcase my ideas and what I want to do with Tropical Wings going forward. First and foremost, gang, I basically want to talk about the zoo in general um, and things that I want to do to the project. Now, because of Do It Better, and I mentioned this in last episode, I've started looking at parts of uh, Tropical Wings and I really, really think that they need a bit of an overhaul. So I'm going to take piece by piece and I'm going to talk you through what I'm going to be changing in certain areas in Tropical Wings. So one of the first things I'm going to do with Tropical Wings is I'm going to work my way around the zoo and I'm going to rework a lot of the roof designs on all of the buildings. Now you will have seen in Do It Better and even in the Insect House uh, episode that I've come up with a technique of doing the roofs that just looks so so much better. Um, it's a lot cleaner, it uses a lot, a lot less pieces believe it or not and I think that it's definitely a design that we can take going forward um, in this zoo to kind of clean all of the roofs up. Now it's a big thing in this zoo because there's actually a lot of buildings at the moment. A lot of the outside animals are obviously um, to come in the future, especially when we go over and finish Adventure Africa. That's another thing I'm going to get to at some point in today's episode. One of the other major things that I really want to tackle in Tropical Wings as well is that of the planting and the edging um, that I've used. Obviously we've got this large stone design at the moment that I've kind of used all over the zoo and obviously the plants in places are quite thick and dense but in others they're very um, you know thin and sporadic and um, I've just grown a little bit tired of the way that this looks in Tropical Wings and so I think I'm going to have to take this piece by piece and work my way around the zoo and make some changes based basically. Um, obviously I'm doing this in stages now. I am going to do a wider picture and take you to certain parts of the zoo and explain how I'm going to go about doing it, but I definitely think this is something that needs to be rectified. Another huge thing that needs to be done in Tropical Wings as well is all of the information boards. I have got so many information boards that I need to do in this zoo and in the project and I need to get them finished. And, um, you know, I think that a redesign as well, a small redesign of some of the existing boards could be used to kind of make them a bit easier for me, um, editing them going forward so that I can make these at a quicker rate and get them done for the zoo and the project. And as I zoom out and give you a good overview of the zoo, another big thing that I really, really want to do with the project is outline exactly where all the existing animals are going to go. Um, I'm going to talk about the next animal slash animals even that we're going to be doing in this project off the back of your comments that you left me on last episode uh, in a moment. But one big thing I want to do, I want to outline where everything's going. I think if I get a better plan for where all the animals are going to go, I think then organically this zoo will grow a lot quicker and I'll actually be able to get builds and projects done in a lot quicker time. So I'll be able to pump out that episode that I promised you once week and sometimes maybe even two. 
And so that's the four major things that I really want to concentrate on in the coming week or so. Uh, I've got a little bit of time coming up that I'm going to have to myself that I'm going to basically use to uh, concentrate on Planet Zoo content. A lot of the other content that I've got on the channel has been really pre-recorded two weeks in advance. So it's going to allow me a couple of weeks to really get up to date with Tropical Wings and also finish my next build in Do It Better. And so those four things are probably things that I'm going to go in over the next week and I'm going to concentrate on where the project it's concerned. I want to iron all of those things out before moving on to a new build and a new project. I think once we get all that done, I might do a zoo tour so you can see all of the changes that I've made to the project. You can see all of the new notice balls and you can see all of the buildings finally finished because once I've done this, I'm not changing anything again in this build because otherwise we're going to be here another year before we get the project finished. And I really don't want that to be the case. I've got to do it better to be working on and I've got ideas for another new zoo that I want to be getting on with so I really really want to get Tropical Wings finished that's by no means me saying I'm sick of the project I absolutely love this project and I'm going to be sad to see it finished eventually but there's other things I want to do with this game and unfortunately having these two major projects ongoing at the moment it's kind of holding me back from doing that now as far as the next animal slash animals is concerned, I've kind of got a really good idea of what I want to do. Now obviously gang, I'm just going to rotate this quickly so you can see the empty area where Adventure Africa is going to go. Now I've been saying for weeks and weeks and weeks that Adventure Africa is what I was going to go ahead and finish and I was going to get that done and dusted and sorted out. Now I have gone to, to, uh, to and fro with, um, you know, back and forth with... Um, the uh, Adventure Africa area and I cannot finish it for love nor money and I really just can't get it started. Now Nightclive who is actually um, an avid viewer on the channel of all my Planet Zoo content had left me a, a comment on uh, the last episode and it actually really made a lot of sense and he said that what I should have done is not taken a break from Adventure Africa when I initially started building it. Because I was in that groove and I knew exactly what I was doing with Adventure Africa, all the theming was coming to me really really quick, the building were kind of coming together in a really nice organic way and then I took that break to go and do something new and I did that because I needed it but had I just stuck with it Adventure Africa would probably be finished and I actually think he makes a really really good point now as far as Adventure Africa is concerned I have no uh, want or need to work on it at the moment because I'm not inspired to work on Adventure Africa there's nothing there that is really jumping out at me that I want to do and my plans that I had didn't work and so because they've not worked it's a case of going back to the drawing board and really working out what went wrong with my initial plans and then making them better to make it work in the future and so as a result I'm going to rotate back this way and we're basically going to take a look at into a Asia. Now, into Asia, as we all know, was an area that I started working on when I wanted to take a break from Adventure Africa. And it was an, an area I was really inspired to really get going. And I think that into Asia, some of the habitats we've got here are some of the best habitats we've got in the zoo. And I think a lot of that is just because I really lent on this area as a way to change things up and do something new in the project. Now, in last episode, I asked you guys for your suggestions on what animals to do next time. I, suppli I supplied you all with the animal list so that you could see all of the species that we are currently have on the list that we're going to be putting into the zoo. And in your droves, you left me your suggestions of animals to do. And I was really surprised to see that the majority of animals you want to see are all of the Asian species. The clouded leopard was asked for three times, the orangutans and the gibbons were asked for a couple of times, someone even suggested getting that water buffalo habitat done and dusted so that those animals are in and we can really finish off that Komodo kingdom area um, and I was really surprised that that's what you wanted. So I've come up with an idea and a plan to finish off into Asia. We're not going to include the elephants in this, but I think I've got a really cool idea. So currently, gang, this is into Asia. You'll see that you've got the Binturong house with the uh, sun bear next door to those. You've got the uh, uh, Babarusa uh, in there. You've got the um, Komodo kingdom. And then we've got our little shop area with our um, food stalls and our bathroom. And that's all kind of into Asia at the moment. We have got a secondary seating area with a small ice cream uh, parlor. And we've got that beautiful fountain in the middle as well. Now, one of the big changes I am going to make is the second staircase on Komodo Kingdom. The more I look at it to the first initial staircase, I hate it. I really, really don't like it. So that is going to need to be changed up. I think really what we're going to have to do is maybe just do something that's more of a slope. So it's wheelchair accessible as well, because at the moment it is just stairs. One of the other things as well that I'm going to do is 
is I am actually going to dive in here and do a bit of a rejig with the planting as well, just to match up with the rest of the zoo when I do that. I think the planting is actually going to be something that is completely rejigged across the zoo. The only plants that are probably not going to get touched are the plants that are inside the habitats. The second thing I want to do before I really move forward with any new animals as well is I do want to take a look inside the Bintrong habitat. I think there's probably some planting and whatnot in there that we could do a little bit better. We could probably supply a bit more climbing for the animals as well. And then after that, I think the smart thing is to start working out with the new animals. And I think one of the first animals that we really want to work to is that of the water buffalo. Now obviously the water buffalo were one of the new animals that were released weren't they and um, I kind of had ideas to put them here off the back of the Komodo habitat. The reason I thought that would be good is this is a raised platform with the animals being the sort of animals they are it would provide a really good view for them as well. Now obviously I want to include a fair amount of water because of the nature of the animal and I think we're going to supply our water at the front of the building and we're going to supply a bit to the side so we can do a raised gate here but obviously it gives us a nice cushion with the water there, the raised area here and then we would have this nice fencing along the edge but we'll make that water a bit deeper so that the um, buffalo can be um, kind of kept here and uh, wouldn't be too much of a problem. I've got a feeling that I want to do the um, you know habitational kind of um, stable type area towards the back of the habitat so we'd supply a pretty um, amount of room for them but it gives us a, a chance to create a kind of back lot area here that can service plenty of the other Asian animals that we've got on the list as well. So that's probably going to be one of the first ones I work on might not be the most exciting animal but I think it will help us cap off um, the Komodo kingdom really really nicely then once the water buffalo are done we can start working on our plans to do a skywalk now I've obviously put this path in here already and we've got this little gap now I'm going to do a two meter path that comes uh, in here and it goes up and around and I want it to go up and around in um, all around kind of some of the Asian animals it's going to work back and it's going to come down to where the elephants will be from the skywalk you're probably going to be able to see um, you know Komodo Kingdom you'll be able to see the buffaloes you'll probably be able to see the sun bears and you might even be to see something like the tapirs um, or an animal that we might add in. The skywalk is going to be kind of be hidden um, in amongst a bunch of really kind of high bush and trees but it's going to give a really unique viewing uh, opportunity for our guests for a lot of the animals that we've got in the park and it supplies something that's pretty unique as well. Then after the water buffaloes, we're going to start basically working out this way with into Asia. I don't want to go in this direction because I've got plans for this space over here. We've got our bug house here. I think I'm going to put my pygmy hippos in here because I think they would look really, really nice kind of in this area opposite the Akapi and the Bongo. Obviously sticking with that African-esque theme over here. Um, I know we've kind of got our Adventure Africa area, but a lot of the species that we've got here are more of a tropical variant of African animals. So I think the pygmy hippo will look perfect here and we'll separate with a bunch of uh, really nice foliage and obviously some backlot areas to kind of service it. Over in this direction it's going to be North America and then after North America it's probably going to be kind of South America into Australia and so over here I've kind of saved it for into Asia. It's going to be probably the second biggest area uh, other than Adventure Africa because there's so many Asian animals that we need to try and fit in. Now obviously I've mentioned I'm not going to be including the elephants in the um, stuff I'm going to talk about today but the elephants as we know are probably going to go down here I kind of want the elephants to be kind of that first animal that you see after you come from under that tunnel and then you see the big elephant enclosure in here and it is going to be a very very large kind of um, habitat and it's going to be a really cool experience as and when I get to it I'm not going to talk about building that yet because a bit like some of the other stuff my plans for it are not quite set in stone and it's going to be such a big Big project I can see it taking me quite a bit of time to do it but what I am thinking gang based off of your suggestions for animals you would like to see is I'm going to have this center point here and it's going to be almost like an Asian tropical house I guess we could call it um, it's going to be an Asian inspired house basically that's going to be a central building and off that central building we're going to have a bunch of uh, outdoor habitats that kind of link to it the building's going to be like an experience, an Asian you know, uh, experience where you're going to get to see a bunch of animals indoors. Now, I am planning on putting um, you know, uh, the animals that we've got as part of this, but also maybe even downloading some modded animals or putting some um, you know, habitats in that are just for 
kind of um, yeah, they're like cloak and dagger at the end of the day. They're going to be you know almost facades uh, to represent animals that are not in the game basically. So um, we're going to do that big house in the middle. It's going to be a really cool experience, and all of the animals are going to kind of meet from their habitats on it. I've also got a really cool idea that I want to do with the orangutans, where we're going to do islands. We're basically going to do orangutan islands, and on each one of the islands, we're going to have a big climbing frame that goes up, and they're going to basically be able to go along these platforms to go to the next island they'll go down and they will, will have access to the islands and it will be on a big lake and we'll do a nice kind of walkway all the way around the edge and eventually that walkway will meet with the building because one of the pylons will go inside and the orangutans will have a big section inside um, that they'll be able to use. We'll obviously offset this with some behind the scenes stuff in other areas but also what we're going to do is you know other animals that are going to meet that habitat are the gibbons for instance they can actually mix with the orangutans i do believe so i think there might be some really cool opportunities to kind of overlap their habitat some way also we're going to have the small clawed otters which can actually overlap with the um orangutans as well and i was thinking because we're doing the islands design we might open up those waterways from um you know the small clod otter could have their own habitat but we could open up a stream and uh, the waterway so they can access the water areas to the islands um, that the orangutan have access to and then they will also have a doorway into the central building um and um, yeah, they would have a small indoor section so that you can get a really close face-to-face -face, uh, kind of experience with the otters uh, inside another animal that I really want to link to the building and I think this is where it gets really interesting because it's a predatory animal and that is the clouded leopard I think if we give the clouded leopard kind of a really cool indoor area um, that might be nice and then we give it a small outdoor spot we don't need to give the clouded leopard anything too large it's not one of the bigger cats but we could give it a small kind of um, area outside I think we could do something cool off of the side of the building so that it isn't you know it doesn't get a lot of space outside it doesn't have to be a huge expanse it can actually be one that's a bit closer to the building and becomes a cool part of the experience and then I'm even thinking about bringing the tapir and giving that an indoor area and I was thinking about giving the tapir quite a large bit of the indoor area where you could go off over a bridge and there would be a pool in the middle that the tapir would have access to so the tapir would actually have access to a lower point in the building um, to the orangutan that would be one of the higher up animals your clouded leopard would be mid then your tapir would be quite low and as you can see you're going to see animals are all different um, you know varieties of levels and aspects and I think it would just make for a really cool experience now I know we've already got an insect house but I think it wouldn't hurt to put a couple of exhibit boxes in there showcasing both uh, reptiles and um, insects even though at a later date I am going to build a reptile house and so that we get a huge mix of animals in this huge Asian house but it's got all these really cool areas that are off the sides as well. So when it comes to building something like this, how am I gonna go about it? Well, basically I'm gonna to have to build the building in the middle first, and we're gonna build all of the indoor habitats for all those animals as part of that building. And then after that, week on week, we'll probably take one animal at a time and we'll build their outdoor section and we'll get that to join up to the building on the inside. And then before you know it, into Asia will be complete and then we can move on to bigger and better things. So that's my plan going forward, gang. This is a relatively short video, but you know how I like to share this stuff with you. And I know some of you don't really like this because you haven't got to see the build. You haven't got to see me do much. But like I've already said, I haven't had a lot of time. But I want you all to know the Planet Zoo is very much in the forefront of my mind. I realise that I built my channel off of this and some people haven't been too happy with the new content that's gone on the channel and the lack of Planet Zoo but what you have to remember is some content's easier to make than others and Planet Zoo for me is one of the harder contents to make because I am so passionate about my builds and I take so much time because of my me being a perfectionist that I don't want to rush things and give you a product that just isn't that good and when I build stuff and I'm not happy with it I don't like showcasing it anyway so just have some patience with me gang Planet Zoo's going nowhere. Tropical Wings is going nowhere. The builds are coming, and when they come, they're going to be bigger and better than ever. And so there you have it, my friends. We are done with this little update episode of Tropical Wings Zoo. Um, I'd really appreciate it, what you make of my plans, uh, by letting me know in the comment section below. Um, I really like um, interacting with you guys, and I realise that kind of my views and my comments have been a little bit down on my Planet Zoo content, but that's no surprise. Obviously, I've not been uploading as much recently, and uh, that is by no means a dig on you either. Um, I 
really kind of fully expected this thing to happen and especially with the new content I've been uploading to the channel the algorithm is a little bit off at the moment but if you are watching this I'd really appreciate your feedback so feel free to let me know in the comment section below what you've made of today's episode and what you're making of my plans for tropical wings going forward I can promise you all we're playing this zoo until it's finished until next time though my friends if you're new around here please consider hitting that subscribe button I'd really appreciate it drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it and as I've already said comment below but until next time stay safe stay humble and I'll see you real real soon for a brand new episode of Tropical Wings Zoo.